Welcome to Planet Wisdom, where we celebrate the powerful teachings that Mother Nature graciously imparts to us. Today, we delve into a transformative journey that not only celebrates the humble millet but also sheds light on the powerful role it plays in climate resilience and empowering women in agriculture. But first, let's demystify the star of our narrative. Millets. What are these tiny powerhouses? Millets are a diverse group of grains cultivated around the world. They come in various shapes, sizes, and flavors, each with its unique nutritional profile. And do you know what makes this exploration even more special? 2023 is the International Year of Millet. Yes, you heard it right. 2023 is dedicated to celebrating and recognizing the vital role that millets play in our lives. The United Nations has designated this year to raise awareness about the nutritional benefits, resilience to climate change, and the cultural importance of millets worldwide. Millets are a nutritious and resilient crop that plays a significant role in promoting health and addressing climate change. The nutritional value of millets includes protein and amino acids which are necessary for muscle growth and repair. The complex carbohydrates and healthy fats in millets can help regulate blood sugar levels, making them a suitable food choice for people with diabetes. Millet takes time to cook, it cooks a little more than the rice, but it does a lot more. It's a very slow-release cereal, that is, uh, you, there'll be no sugar spikes because of you you're eating a millet. It releases uh, its glucose part of it very, very slowly. So particularly those who suffer from diabetes or whose life is threatened by diabetes, ragi and other millets also does a fantastic job. Millets are also rich in dietary fiber which aids in digestion and helps prevent constipation. Healthy fats and omega-3 fatty acids which are beneficial for heart health. Vitamins and minerals such as vitamin B6, folate, iron, magnesium, and zinc which are essential for overall health. In terms of health benefits, millets can contribute to weight management. The combination of protein, healthy fats, and complex carbohydrates in millets can help promote a feeling of fullness, leading to reduced calorie intake and potential weight loss. Millets are well known for their ability to thrive in arid and semi-arid conditions. They have adapted to withstand water scarcity, making them highly resistant to drought. Compared to major staple crops like rice and wheat, Millets generally require lower amounts of water for cultivation. This makes them well suited for regions with limited water resources. Millets exhibit resilience to various climatic conditions, including high temperatures and erratic rainfall. Millets often have a shorter growth cycle compared to other major cereals. This allows them to mature quickly, reducing the risk of damage from adverse weather conditions during the growing season. Millets can thrive in a variety of soil types, including less fertile soils. This adaptability makes them suitable for cultivation in diverse agro-ecological zones. The cultivation of millets contributes to agricultural biodiversity. Their resistance to various challenges promotes ecosystem health and resilience. In fact, millets were among the oldest plants domesticated by humans as early as the Neolithic era over 12,000 years ago. In India, they have a rich cultural history, having long been a source of nutrition for communities in the highland areas of southern and northeastern India and drier regions including the Deccan, central India and western states like Gujarat and Rajasthan. Millet cultivation under rain-fed farming still provides livelihoods to nearly 50% of the rural and tribal population and sustains about 60% of India's livestock. These are often used as multi-purpose crops which support food, fodder and fuel needs and they lend themselves to intercropping with other plants, sustaining a richly diverse agricultural ecosystem. Conversations with older generations in India reveal the deep connection people have with millets. Men cherish the goodness and taste, while women recall the labor-intensive processes from morning till night. Historically, millet processing was a household affair, and women were the backbone of these operations. However, Despite women's pivotal role, there's a disparity. Few programs recognize women as farmers because they often lack land ownership. But what if we could bridge this gap by acknowledging two essential rights ownership and cultivating rights? Where are you? 
పట్టాలు ఇచ్చే ఇచ్చారు కానీ ఎక్కువ పురుషుల మీదే ఉంది ఈ పట్ట అనేది there is a strong gender dimension in case of agriculture but in case of millet gender dimension is so strong that i normally used to say millet need women and women need millets so why i say uh, millets need women uh, most of the operations in case of millets are predominantly performed by women especially threshing and processing they are invariably undertaken by women and when you recognize that all of these tasks involve time effort labor then you will start recognizing the role of women more uh, strongly women have had to be resilient because there was no alternative i mean they were forced to be resilient uh, i suppose in that sense you can uh, look at uh, the foods that the poor ate they were forced to eat certain foods which were hardy which were resilient which were nutritious but the nutrition was a side aspect the thing was that these were grains and uh, foods that they had access to there are various narratives about the green revolution but we must remember that the green revolution also democratized access to rice and wheat which many poor communities could not they aspired to so even today the rice and wheat are privileged over millets because for centuries for millennia uh, the poor ate millets while paddy and wheat are good in terms of the food security in terms of nutritional security they are not a complete solution they provide good uh, carbohydrates but they do not provide all the micronutrients you know you require selenium zinc iron uh, calcium so now we are facing a situation where uh, we have to uh, ensure nutritional security of the population and what do we do so we come back to to uh, you know the age old uh, solution which is millets and now suddenly uh, millets have been thrust into this role what that means is that rural people cultivate millets and then they ship them out these grains have seen rising popularity since india announced 2018 to be national year of millets and the united nations then declared 2023 as the international year of millets recognizing these to be sustainable solutions to food insecurity if you would like to know more about millets check the links in the description of this video and don't forget to subscribe for more planet wisdom